As we rush headlong into the 21st century, ours is a society desperately in need of hope. Nothing brings hope and meaning to our lives more than a supernatural occurrence that cannot be explained. Audiences have always been fascinated by stories beyond human understanding. We want to dream of possibilities beyond our human limitations. Never have we as a people had so few answers. We have become powerless in a world seemingly out of control. But just when hope is lost, when there is no way out, miracles happen. In Miracles, we'll talk with ordinary people who have had experiences that defy logic and reason, like Chantelle Lakey, a woman whose experience on a small mountain would change her life forever. It appeared to be a, a smooth, easy trail down to the beach. And instead, it, it leveled off at this certain point, and then all of a sudden it dropped. <laughs> moment it was as if a giant hand felt like a swooping vacuuming effect it was a real miracle there's no doubt in my mind that Chantel did make it to the bottom how she got there I have no idea we'll visit with those who have been declared clinically dead and have returned to tell us their perceptions from the other side I was talking on the phone holding the telephone like this they tell us that they seem to leave their physical bodies Lightning came down the phone line, entered my neck. They say that they float up. Through my spine, threw me up in the air. They can see their own physical bodies lying on the bed down below. I was above my body. I was floating. And welded the nails and the heels of my shoes to the nails in the floor. Except I didn't realize that that person there was me. Which is how I was grounded and I didn't explode. Then all of a sudden, I heard this statement. He's gone. He's gone. And it was the paramedic making that statement. Miracles will bring to our audience astounding rescues. Help me. Someone, please. What's your 20, man? When the heck are you? County Road 26. Okay, I'm on my way. I took this from Hills in my bag. I gotta get you some real professional help. I got an emergency. I got a driver on County Road 26 with a heart attack. I need help. You trying to jerk my chain or what, man? So what are you talking about? There's no CB in that car. Miracles will feature four to six stories from all walks of life, such as the case of Omar Salab, who was found after being lost in the Sahara Desert for three months. He shouldn't medically be here, and he is. Omar claimed he had found an oasis where none existed. Scientists theorized he had seen a mirage, but that couldn't account for his canteen filled with water. Or Mrs. Donna Carlisle, whose 10-year-old cat somehow pulled her out of a burning building Cynics claim she ran from the building. But what happens is with a lot of these cases, and these are quotes from doctors, that story, that case is a lie. Except Donna Carlisle had polio from childhood. Then she becomes an interesting case. But what happens... We'll meet Jerry Conway. See the soldiers. A homeless Vietnam vet who was about to commit suicide when his old platoon sergeant, Willie McFarland, appeared and convinced him not to. That's a direct order! Only Sergeant McFarland was killed in the Battle of Pleiku in 1969. No one believed Jerry's story until he produced Sergeant McFarland's dog tags. Miracles is a series that offers hope for skeptics and believers alike who want answers to miracles but have to ask their own questions. Was it a coincidence or could it have been a miracle? Join us on our fascinating journey into the ageless wonder and mystery of miracles. You, the audience, will have to decide. <laughs>